My name is Edward Walker. I'm a faculty member uh, here in the Department of Sociology at UCLA. Uh, I study social movements and corporations and how corporations respond uh, to social movement campaigns. Uh, it's been with particular interest that I've been following the events of the Occupy Wall Street movement uh, because uh, we know that social movements can often be quite effective uh, in reshaping the public debate, and that's precisely what this movement's been able to do. Uh, they've been able to move the public debate away from questions uh, of the national debt and more toward concerns of unemployment and inequality. Uh, they've called attention to the massive transfer of wealth into the financial sector. Uh, they've called attention uh, to the increasing insecurity of employment, uh, concerns about lack of health coverage that many people face, um, and pointed out that these aren't things that are only faced by the poor uh, in the way that they used to be. Uh, these are now things that are solidly middle class problems um, as more and more people uh, feel insecure. Uh, and so they've been quite effective at shaping uh, the public agenda. Um, what's interesting is to think also about uh, the extent to which they can shape the corporate agenda. Um, and uh, the evidence on that, I think, is, is, is a, little bit, uh, it's a little bit soon to know exactly where that's going to go. Uh, but it's uh, no small thing that uh, there was a piece in the Harvard Business Review last month that was encouraging companies to reevaluate re their compensation packages um, and also to get uh, companies to start talking with community and uh, in community stakeholders and employees and other members of the public uh, to reevaluate uh, the role that companies are playing in inequality. Um, but what we, I think, really need to think about here is not just uh, the voluntary kinds of things that companies can do, but the kinds of policy changes that need to be enacted. Um, and we're at an interesting moment right now uh, where it seems that the encampment strategy uh, may be uh, running out of steam, um, or at least uh, that um, it was a good thing uh, that uh, Mayor Bloomberg uh, actually ended the encampment in New York. Uh, because otherwise the movement um, may have faced the challenge of running out of steam. Um, Saul Alinsky once said that any tactic uh, that gets used too long uh, effectively uh, becomes weak over time. Sooner or later things become stale and routine. Um, and I think the movement was running a risk of that by continuing the encampment strategy uh, along the same lines. And so now uh, I think Mayor Bloomberg has offered a chance to save face and move on to the next strategy um, and find the next way to, uh, to generate concrete uh, policy change. Um, and so I think uh, the movement is, has been able to significantly reshape the public agenda, um, but there is a lot of uncertainty now uh, about where uh, the next strategy will go.